Welcome to my chambers. Can the President of the United States of America go to a federal judge and successfully persuade the judge to prevent a television network from airing a broadcast that he doesn't want us to hear? In a word, no. But the background story is fascinating. A woman who is an adult film star, whose stage name is Stormy Daniels, alleges that she had an affair with President Trump about 12 years ago. Lawyers negotiated with her and paid her $130,000 in return for her silence. She signed the agreement. President Trump, who wasn't president at the time the agreement was negotiated, did not sign it. Then she went to CBS News and gave a lengthy interview to 60 Minutes, in which we understand she made a lot of allegations and gave a lot of specific information about her alleged relationship to the president, which the president has denied. CBS is preparing to air the interview, and the president is about to dispatch his lawyers to stop it. Can they do so? Well, the answer is no. The Supreme Court has ruled twice in 1931 in a famous case called Near versus Minnesota, and in 1971 in an even better known case reflecting the Pentagon Papers against what's called prior restraint. Prior restraint is when someone attempts to use, use the courts to prevent the media from disseminating information they already have. That's not the remedy. If the media obtained information which, when disseminated, will harm someone, the remedy is to sue after the dissemination, not to prevent it altogether. That's been the law of the land in the United States of America since 1931. In the case of the president, he has a bigger megaphone than CBS News does because he's the president, because he so adroitly uses social media. That means that the ferocity and the volume of his denials may be heard and perceived by more people than ever watched 60 Minutes. Welcome to my chambers. Fight the good fight. For freedom!